Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a cool team you can use for this faction assault in the Dark Pits, and an alternative as well if you want to do something different, because the other team you can use is technically more powerful, but it did have a troop in it, which a lot of people said they didn't have the other day in the Tower of Doom team, and it's quite similar to that. But before we start, a quick new member shout out to Roy Osborne, joined a few days ago as a clan member. Welcome, Roy Osborne, to the clan, appreciate it, thank you very much indeed. Anyway, on these battles, first of all, you can pop to the shop, grab yourself a tier one if you want a potion of enchantment. That will make things just that little bit quicker. But if you have your horde level in the dark pits already on level 100, you will have a potion of enchantment stored. So no need to actually get a tier one from here. But if you want the weapon at tier four, you do have to buy these in order. It's a pretty cool weapon as well. Deals magic based damage to the last enemy. Pretty handy versus those Stealthy opponents think, thinking they're hiding in last place. Oh no, not from the pit knife. Then curse and drain all mana from them. So yeah, not a bad weapon in certain situations. Right, but let's take a look at the team then. Like I say, I'll show alternative to this in a minute. Going to have Leshy, Queen Beatrix, Vanoxia and Flail of Guard. This team comes into its own more on the later levels when the enemy hits really hard with skull damage and things like that. Because Leshy entangles all allies and enemies and destroys all green gems. But the gems are destroyed with full effect, which means all that green feeds straight into Queen Bee and Vanoxia, while well, keeping him safe himself because he's immune to entangle, which is pretty cool. Now, with Queen Bee, obviously, we can actually cleanse ourselves off of those entangles anyway. Not that that will actually take any effect unless we lose our Leshy, because we cleanse all allies when matching four or more gems, which will happen a lot, because she can loop like a crazy loopy person on a roller coaster, creating nine green and nine brown gems, then dealing a massive amount of true scatter damage with chances to gain half her mana back and an extra turn. Now the brown feeds straight back into Leshy, who has a chance to do his spell again, while the green feeds into herself and Vanoxia. These two can loop as well, Vanoxia creating green and blue, while doing massive amount of true damage to all enemies. The blue feeds into Queen Bee, and the green into these two. You can see how this works, it's pretty groovy. Flail of Guard is there simply as a mana generator and a summoner, in case we should be unlucky enough to lose our Leshy. The cool thing about it is it uses opposite colours to these. We're using all colours here, but um, no mana is missed out. But the Flail of Guard does explode blue gems. Don't care about the random status effect because we have that summon. Right, so let's uh, have a look at this. We'll dive into the game. Let's have a quick battle and I'll show the way you can change this up using the Empress, which is really good. Obviously we'll take anything that's there straight away like that. It's just going to get the bee up straight away and she can just wreck immediately right enough mucking around on those lower levels let's jump into the faction itself and do this on the hardest stage possible level 500 i'll show you how you can do a variant of this team as well which makes it super powerful so i will still use this team but i'm just going to show how you can actually mix this up a bit to be extremely powerful Right, so let's just show how this variant works ever so quickly the empress a mountain crusher leprechaun and queen bee in warden class Traits aren't so important, but there's some cool things in the talent trees, like a root trap. Nature's aura is a leaf storm, which is green, really useful. Get boost in armor, and banishment dispels all enemies on four or five gem matches. This is going to roll really, really well. Let's see how it goes. The key to this is just to boost up your Empress until your Queen Bee is, is basically just on a crazy level. And you can get things done with one or two casts of Queen Bee, because... She can get her money back and just recast anyway. She's got a chance to get an extra turn. So it's like Empress is up already. The top troop starts entangled, so you don't have to worry about that immediately. You can just cast your Empress straight away. My Queen Bee is starting on 178 true scatter damage due to benefits from this delve. But let's cast the Empress. There's the first boost. She got an extra turn. Now on 330 true scatter damage absolutely straight away. And you don't have to stop there if you want. You can actually go, okay, Leprechaun, let's have a bit more. Queen Bee's ready to go again. We've got a, what, 84% chance of an extra turn now on that boost on the right-hand side. Let's do that. We got the extra turn. We're now doing 484 true scatter damage. Let's do that. If she gets an extra turn or gets her mana back, we're ready to go again. Look, we're actually just one mana short from casting that again and just obliterating the opponent. It's, it's ludicrous. 
you can actually do it again. We've got a 98% chance of an extra turn, which <laughs> bizarrely and incredibly we didn't get. That's quite funny when the game does that sort of thing. So anyway, let's get this done. Let's do that. Let's cast a B. 640 true scatter damage. Let's cast our Mountain Crusher next to get some more mana. So yeah, absolutely ludicrous team. Extremely fast when it wants to be. Let's grab that last bit of blue manually. Being so the game is being mean to us. And wipe them out. Right, so I'm going to have to run away now. Because I have to leave this delve. Because I can't change the team. And I want to go back to the old one. So I've run off. I've done a leg it. Run away from the room. Let's pop in that team again. Oops, there it is. Right, so let's show how we do it with this original team that I started with. To battle. So it won't be as quick as that team with the Empress I just showed with Queen B. That can go crazily out of control. So as you can see, the enemy's got like mad attack in this and there's skulls all over the place. So what we can do, there's not a lot of green there. So we're not going to benefit too much from this green, but entangle all allies and enemies, destroy all green gems with full effect. There you go. They're all entangled. Any skull hits do not matter. B's up next round, so we'll see if we can loop with her and Vanoxia. Let's do this. Vanoxia's up. Can get these ready to see if you can get your B ready again. You click that if you feel like it. Vanoxia's going to do massive damage, chance of looping. Didn't loop, but it doesn't matter because Queen Bee's ready to go again. Let's go again, B. And that is enough to wipe them out with Vanoxia. So super straightforward and easy with this team. Really good alternative for a few. Want to go this route? The Empress team is fun, though. It's just fun boosting up any troop, really, at the bottom. It doesn't have to be Queen Bee. It can be Vanoxia. It can be anybody that does decent damage to all. Really cool. All right, let's trot across to this... Queen Grapple Pot. Goblin Room. Ah, the goblins don't want to play Loopy Doopy, do they? Might have been frozen straight away because of the benefits of Elementalist. We've already got our first Queen Bee up, which is really cool. Let's get our Leshy up so we get some protection from those skulls if they should recover. They've already got Entangled anyway. It just makes it extra safe. Benefits of Elementalist, I think most people know about. Let's do this, because we pick up all that green anyway. But Delvers, you can never be too safe. Everybody's entangled. They're going to get stunned, frozen, and burned with every four match as well. These two are going to loop for fun if they feel like it. Didn't that time. Whatever. And just keep keep going. You can pick up that if you want to get the get Vanoxia almost ready. And the other troops are still charged. Fairly straightforward team. Wouldn't call it hyper low level because there's a couple of legendaries in here, of course, which are Queen Bee, available from the Underworld herself, and Vanoxia. But yeah, you can see how straightforward this is. Let's do the last room, and we'll call the video a day. Video. You're a day. Right, so let's uh, cast our Leshy, pick up that green at the same time. Sometimes you'll get some nice cascades from that, which is pretty nice when that happens. She got the extra turn, but didn't get too much benefit from that cast then, that's alright. It'll all happen eventually, because it has to, because we keep on creating all these colours, which we like. Going alone at the moment. Nox is sitting there thinking, when do I get involved? See, now you can actually cast this again. All oh, that green is going to vanish, but we can pick it up, charge it up for Noxia and Queen Bee. That got an extra turn, looped. She's done it again. Let's uh, cast B one more time. Let's go for Noxia. Ooh, that was an awful lot of managing to do absolutely nothing. Right, so if you can't see a natural four match around, you can just cast Leshy. What did he get turned into? He got um, lycanthropied into a Vulpress. That's right. He's gone. Don't matter. 
can cast our weapon now to charge up the team instead. They're still entangled. So this, uh, this last game has been made more awkward than normal. That's okay. They're still entangled. You can concentrate on taking uh, these if you want. I know Queen B's up, but if you want to make sure it's safe, get the weapon up. Make sure you got somebody in first place with that summon. And then think about your Queen Bees and that and your Vinoxies again. I do love that Empress team though. The Empress team is really cool. But this is a nice alternative as well. And that was made as awkward as possible really on that last stage by those like Cantropies coming in for the, um, for the enemy. Which doesn't normally happen. And we didn't get a couple of loops either which... Sometimes will definitely go way more favourable for you than it did for me then. But there it is, a nice team still, a lot of fun to use. Really good when Vinoxia and Queen Bee get looping. And a summon too, and the benefits of Elementalist class and the protection from Skulls from Leshy. There's a video if you enjoyed it, found it useful, any of that kind of stuff. Why not bash that like and subscribe button, it really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.